What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a very special video. We got some packs in the day, man, that are some brand new sneakers that have finally hit the scene. Now, I don't know much about them since it's only the pictures I've seen myself, but basically, this is a brand new model that has hit the scene. So, we're gonna check them out today. This is a little unboxing slash mini review, I guess you could say. Whoa, we got two of these boxes, by the way. Check it out, this is from Reebok. You shot the Reebok. I don't know they know much about what's in here. Only got a little heads up that something was coming. And I looked and saw, and I'm thinking I know what they are because of, you know, how they sent it and then something released. Write your legacy. And let's see if your boy's correct. All right, an integral part of creating the future is understanding the past. The Reebok Classic Leather Legacy is a blend of DNA from the Aztec and Classic Leather silhouettes. Merging the design from both silhouettes, we give you our take on heritage running through a future lens. Show us how you have started to write your own legacy and what, and what creating, being present and handing down a legacy means to you. Team Reebok, Reebok Classic, get the by Reebok, write your legacy. Classic Leather Legacy. Okay, now, these are them. And we got here today, guys, the brand new Reebok Classic Leather Legacy. We got these here, though, and at the same time, we have another box, so. Let's check that one real quick. Oh, next one in full effect. And these things are retailing right now for like $80. And overall, they look phenomenal. Another box in from Reebok. Flip this up. Woo, okay, these are hard. I like these, these are the all white. But it has like the different tone of white. Okay, okay. But you know what? Since we are showcasing these shoes, let's head downstairs because I want to give a good look at these. All right, guys. So we have here the Reebok Classic Leather Legacies. And these have recently released over on their website. I will link this down below in the description. This is not in any shape, form, like an ad or anything like that. These were actually just sent out to me on some random GP stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Just some random, like, yo, we're sending this on over to you. Check them out. Let you know, you know, your thoughts and opinions. And I can say that I did not even expect Reebok to be bringing out something like this matter. This is something different from them from what they pre from what they previously been doing this is basically like a rebox version of a old school uh i would say maybe like a nike tailwind you got also somewhat of a old school feel as far as the shape with well, yeah like the tailwind the old school tailwind joints it has a couple of different looks to it but it's definitely a great shape shoe and also just branding i like the old you know rebox logo on the side the rebox in word the material used is like a rip stop material and this colorway is cool you know what i'm saying it's like a warriors old school warriors type of color um i'm more so you know a laker fan but it's so i can make i can make that work but the white one i love the different color tones of the white the grays and somewhat of like an egg type of look look to it also the lacing on here is totally different than these which is more so of a flat version. Now, I believe these are retailing around 80 bucks, and what you see for $80, in my opinion, is great. This is very similar to what you know Puma is doing with their price points, but I think that you're getting more out of this shoe than a $80 Puma shoe. You know, like the, 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 the future riders we've been seeing, which are dope, don't get me wrong, these look better, in my opinion, than those future riders, and you're only paying 80 bucks for these. So, something definitely to check out. They have over 11 different colorways when they drop this shoe. I've seen a couple of them in some tans. I've seen the white ones, these. And like I said, there's like 11 colors in total. And I can definitely see if these end up being a big hit, Reebok taking these on and kind of pushing them. They wanted to bring something old and bring it with the new, the Aztec, something now and kind of bring some innovation to that. And you can see the Aztec, especially from on the side and just the way the side looks. 
but this big chunk of material is very very soft it seems like it's a good you know type of cushioning for walking and just for comfort but the overall look the ripstop material is something we've been seeing a lot of in sneakers in general so they brought some of that in here for the aesthetic type of look to it but also ripstop itself is exactly what it says ripstop it's very durable it doesn't rip at the same time it's very very lightweight you know if you drop something on your foot you're gonna hurt yourself but like if you're like running or doing like just doing basic things this material will never like tear or give out or get old and you have very similar type of ripstop material on the upper as well it's just like in a different type of like grading it's like more more smaller compared to the big ones right there you have a nice suede on the toe box suede on the back leather on the heel tab here they the 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 the, the, the well, now they're kind of different at the same time. Let's say they kind of follow the same type of way, but on here, this is suede, 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 this suede, on, like in here, on there is leather. So they all seem to, you know, both these two have, seem to have different designs going on. The tongue is rubberized. They have like a rubberized type of feel on the tongue on the logo. And like I stated before, flat laces, round laces, Reebok, overall, extremely dope. They sent over to me a size eight and a half. I really am digging these. Like, I don't know why. I mean, these are dope. Don't get me wrong, these are dope. You know what I'm saying? I actually have a pair of Nike Cortez in the same type of colorway. These are dope, but these, I just don't know, these just hit different, bro. Like, I'm definitely gonna be rocking these ASAP Rocky. Reebok, I like what you're doing. 80 bucks, I, that is a great price point. This definitely will make it on my next, and I'm gonna be doing one pretty soon. I'll probably, I'm gonna do one. I'm probably gonna end up having to do another one. I just did one recently, but I think I need to do another one now because we're back to school. And people are actually going to school now. So if you want to see that, if you want to get a back to school under 100, or 150, or 200, let me know right now. I need you guys to hit that like button. Get this video up to 3,000 likes, and we'll do that. We'll drop that thing sometime next week, like ASAP. Maybe Monday or Tuesday we'll drop it. Let me know. But this is definitely a top shoe under $100 right now, in my opinion. But overall, I mean, I have nothing really to complain about. Just the fact that this shoe is 80 bucks, and it looks like this, aesthetically, I, I can't complain, man. I feel like all this for eighty dollars is is dope, in my opinion. I, I'm not capping. I swear, I put this on everything. I put this on my grandfather's grave. I swear to God. I know you guys may be thinking, like, man, this boy Tony is talking about these shoes too too damn well. You feel me? No, like I'm being honest. Like I'm just looking at them. I'm trying to figure out and comment down below. Like, what shoe is this that I'm seeing? Is it is it the Nike Tailwind? Is one I guess the shape the Nike Tailwind. It's some other shoe, like an Adidas or something. I don't know what it is. But it has a very similar shape to something else that I've had. <sighs> Besides the point, let's not take away from the fact that Reebok put out a banger for $80 on these. So, huge shout out to them. Thank you for the love and support, Reebok, for sending this my way and letting me be one of the first people to review these sneakers. So, make sure you guys hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's go ahead and end it off with an on foot, man. Let's get it, man. Let's ride.